Hey, 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 hey there, little lady. <laughs> Girl, can you not come on here and not act a plum fool for a change? No, as soon as I turn on the camera, I get a work email. <sighs> Hold on, baby, let me see. Hey girl, how are you guys doing? Yes, ma'am, let's zoom in some. Y'all, I have been neglecting myself on all accounts. I've just been, <sighs> girl, I've been busy. I'm busy doing stuff. Um, we're just gonna do a quick update. Yeah, I know how we do it. I talk about what's going on in my personal life, talk about what I'm watching on YouTube, and talk about what I'm watching on TV. Girl, nothing. So I got an attitude. Vivian, get it together. So I have a couple of different um, leave-in conditioners here because I need to figure out how the heck I plan on adding some moisture to this parched, dry-ass hair, girl. Um, let me set everything aside, you guys. I, yeah, I tip, I typically am that type of female. I try to keep everything up and together. Like, feet be done, nails are done, shaved, skin regimen on point. I mean, my credit score is like an eight. Pain, <laughs> cause I feel like when I do that, I feel better about myself. And overall, my husband likes it too. But girl, I'm looking at my feet now. My nail polish is chipping. My, I got, how the hell you walking around with nails missing? Yeah, I'm a girly girl. I, look, this is just who I am. So, yeah, know I've been doing my nails myself ever since we've been hit with this pandemic. And so, I did this black and gold, but these, the thumb and index is coming off. But it's okay, baby. I can just pop these all off and do my nails in a couple more days, do my feet, like today. Um, and get it together. It just has to be routine. You know what I mean? But I need to not be so hard on myself because thank God I finally started um, working out a little bit more consistently. So, you know what we're doing, girl, now. We're basically going into what's going on in my personal life. Yes, working out consistently. And you guys, I don't know what it is about me. I'm pretty sure it's my energy. The energy I exude kids gravitate to me and I, what I mean kids I mean small chilling like five and under gravitate to me like hey how are you doing I'm like minding my business what you should be doing <laughs> so long story short a couple of weeks ago I was outside um grilling and this little boy was like hi I'm like oh hell what the hell no <laughs> and his father came around and he's talking to me and we just started talking about um just health and overall just being healthy and he told me that he's a, a personal trainer he's fairly young he's like 25 so personal personal trainer and he gave me some advice he's like you know what you you look like you're okay but if you want to try to lose weight what you should do is flip it because i told him i do cardio for 30 minutes and then i um do weights for 10 to 15. he told me to flip that around i said do what he said do weights for 20 to 25 minutes and do cardio for 10 to 15 and see how you feel. Child, when I did that, I was so dang gone tired, y'all. I mean, tired. So when the next time I saw him, I said, let me tell you something. And he looked at me, he already knew. He said, what, what happened? I said, I did exactly what you suggested. He said, you were tired as hell, huh? I said, yes, I was tired. I'm gonna do it again next year. We started laughing about that. But no, I've been consistently trying to do that on a weekly basis. Um, working out three times a week. I want to get up to five times, but right now three times a week. And y'all, I'm dropping weight, you guys, for a change, because I'm, I'm small frame. I shouldn't weigh, you can weigh whatever you want to weigh, but I shouldn't be weighing, I'm not gonna tell you what, what I used to weigh, but I shouldn't be weighing that much, but I'm consistently losing weight. And girl, my clavicle, is that what you call it? My clavicle bone is popping, yes. So, <laughs> y'all know I'm silly. Um, besides that, girl, it's still hot here in Phoenix, 80 degrees. Those of you who are in Fahrenheit, what is it? Fahrenheit would be 100, 176, I think. Do, do the calculations, girl. Celsius to Fahrenheit. It's not bad, but I need for it to get 60 degrees, 50 degrees, because I have some cute sweaters and stuff I want to wear, you know? So... It's still in the 80s here in Phoenix, y'all. Just crazy. Okay, I'm supposed to be doing my hair. Y'all, why didn't y'all tell me? Look, I always blame y'all. 
let's let's cut to the hair real quick and then we'll get back into personal life so you guys baby <laughs> i haven't done anything to my hair in a week um so what i need to do it really doesn't need a lot of moisture it doesn't feel dry but i'm going to add some moisture to it this is what she's looking like okay I'll probably wash in a couple of more days. We need to pick a leave-in conditioner. Can y'all help me? So I have four in front of me, girl. This is way too much. Um, proceed with caution. The four-way conditioner by the main choice. We have that as an option. Let me see. Japanese cherry and chai seed oil. Let me smell this. That could be a contender. We have curls, cream brulee, um, whipped curl cream, no. We're not gonna be using that. We have onion, hairdo, moisturizing leave-in conditioner. Uh, because I'm cheap, I'm, I'm gonna say this, it's a no. Same thing with the Giovanni, Giovanni direct leave-in, I'm gonna save it. And then we have the As I Am Long and Lux Grow Yogurt. This stuff is bay. let me smell it and reminisce. Oh. It's still, still. Oh, that smells good. Okay, let me do a palm test, you guys, to see. Okay. I don't know if I tried this. Main. Oh, that's really creamy. That's the as I am. I'm not sure if I've changed if I tried this before. Did she change the packaging on this? Yeah, I remember Courtney when she used to be on YouTube, the um, owner of Main Choice. She used to be on YouTube doing, um, I remember the, her videos. Uh, she would film in her bathroom like I'm doing now. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and use the Long and Lux along with, I'm going to spray my hair a little bit with the Allocade Naturals Lemongrass. So let me go ahead and section my hair off. And later on, I'm going to twist my hair up with the kinky tresses. So you guys, it is the week of Thanksgiving. Um, happy Thanksgiving to those of you who do celebrate Thanksgiving. Um, what are y'all cooking? Girl, look, I'm not gonna be doing that. Look, I can't do all that eating and stuff that Big Mama and them and your aunties and them. I can't do that anymore, y'all. Like, I can't eat like that anymore. I can't eat like I can't go back for seconds and thirds. If I do, it'll be a little bit. You know what I mean? So I just can't eat a lot of food like that anymore. But you best believe I will be cooking. Yes. Um, so you know I'm gonna be cooking. I'm spraying you guys my hair with the lemongrass leave-in. I know one of y'all say you, this doesn't really work for you. Oh, that smells good. All right. This is probably too big of a section, but who cares, girl? Paying, paying close attention to my ends. So yeah, girl, um, doing okay working out. Uh, trying to get back into a habit with everything. It's just a lot when you have all the holidays coming up and it's just very disruptive. You know, JB is home from school uh, two days this week. Um, and so, yeah, but I got to get back into getting my routine back on. It's just a lot going on, which just makes it like that. Hold on, y'all. Let me make this smaller, okay? Um, speaking of JB, school is going well, but we had a discussion and come to find out that they are not teaching him as much as I would hope. I don't know if, if it's because things are changing at his current school. Those of you who don't know, I moved my child to a what's called a micro school here in Phoenix. Um, his classroom consists of three grades. Third, fourth, and fifth grade are in one class, which does have its benefits, honestly. Um, only nine kids are in this classroom, about 20 kids in the school altogether, okay? But just, I, I, I'm that type of parent to where I talk to the teacher, I talk to other parents, and I need to get an idea. What does a typical day look like for you, JB? What do you do, you know? And so he gives me a rundown, and I just don't feel like it's enough. It's okay because it's okay right now. Isn't that, it wouldn't be okay in the future if we would stay here. 
it's okay since we're moving back to Texas, but what I'm gonna have to do temporarily is supplement, you know, add a little, a little bit of history, um, science. He said they're not doing any science some science in there and maybe you know perhaps it's something they're going to add later on because this is let me back up this is a fairly new micro school they just started this up a couple of months ago i believe so maybe it will come but I ain't got time for that so since i do have the curriculum um those of you don't know i used to homeschool my child but i've gotten so busy with work and just life in general i don't have the bandwidth to homeschool him and so we put him in the school. Needless to say, he's okay with that. I told him we would just do two hours on the weekend, one hour on Saturday, one hour on Sunday, and incorporate some science, um, anything that he's perhaps missing in um, the other areas, um, and a little bit of history, a sprinkle there. It seems like they're focusing most mostly on reading, language, arts, and math, which is okay, but my child is good now. Shouldn't have to do that, but I'm gonna do it. All right, y'all. What else, girl? This housing market. When I tell you I am over it, first of all, it's the holidays. Ain't nobody still in their houses right now. So the inventory where we're moving to is very, very limited right now. I mean, we have not seen any houses come up for sale this week at all. None. And so, um,. That houses that are coming up when we make an offer we get outbidded mind you we offer eight thousand over the asking price i'm sorry but we are not going to be offering almost four hundred dollars four hundred thousand dollars for a house in forney especially with the amount of money we're putting down we're putting down i ain't gonna give y'all all our business but we're putting down quite a bit of money like a lot well over 100 G's, well over. That's how much money we're putting down because we did so good on this house, we wanted to put it back into the new house. You see what I'm saying? Because this is going to be our forever home. The home that we buy in Forney, Texas is going to be our for forever home. My husband was joking when we first started looking for houses. He's like, well, I guess after this, the next place we'll move to is Longview. That's where I was raised, Longview, Texas. But to his point, you know, this is it. We're in the, I call it the second act of our lives to where now we want to look at um, investments, seeing how we can grow. Because you guys, the way I also look at mar marriage, in my opinion, at least with our marriage, is that a good 15, 20% of it is business. So, okay, now what can we do to uh, get some money up in these streets? Which is why the first house that we had here in Phoenix was an investment and we did really good really good on it and so um now this house is going to be our forever home it's not going to be an investment so we need to make sure that whatever we get we really like it so yeah but we're going to be here for a while our release isn't up to april so we're good it's just we need to find some something and find something um hopefully early next year i'm hoping um besides that i'll put some notes down here girl I'm not gonna talk about these bad kids in this apartment complex. I look, I be showing up showing up at the um office so much that people that live here think that I work up there. I'm not gonna get into detail, but I'm having some we are, not me, just me, having some issues with some disruptive kids that live here. And honestly, it's two kids in particular, but with children at this age, they have a tendency to pick up. On things from one another so now they're they're a couple of them are acting a hot mess but yeah I'm not gonna spend too much energy on that so um girl my hair my hair is shedding you guys I'm starting to read again so I picked up Stephen King's if it bleeds recently I'm halfway through it actually y'all I'm laughing because Stephen King, I used to follow him on Twitter. I, I still do, I'm just not on Twitter as much. Um, he has all type of support of Stephen King being a writer, but <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm reading some of the reviews of some of his new books, and he is definitely allowing his um, uh, political views to affect his writing, which in my, in my opinion, look, Stephen King, how old is Stephen King? Like, in his 70s, how old is he, y'all? 60 Stephen King don't give a damn if you don't like his book because he mentioned um 
what did he he mentioned in this book um Rush, Rush Lumbar, the radio guy that didn't he die of lung cancer he mentioned him but it's it's he he takes digs at the other side and so child the republicans don't like that actually i think some people regardless of their political beliefs don't like that they believe that you should not allow that to affect your writing but you think he cares you know how much money stephen king is worth he don't care so <laughs> anyway on top of that i have started writing i i picked up a um just a blank journal uh, that says write from Barnes and Nobles and even though I do have the the stories in my head and at this point a couple of them have I've listed or I've done story times y'all I'm all over the place um so when my husband saw me reading he's like what are you reading and I told him he's like why are you not writing down your your stories he said just write it down make it a short I mean do four or five short stories into one book you know, we could, um, we could print 30, 40, and if, you know, they'll sell, you print some more. And so one thing I do love about my, my husband is that he always encourages me to do something. Because you guys, I will say, I'm insecure when it comes to the writing part. I have the ideas, and I'm the type of person, I could get so caught up in the process because literally before I even started writing, like I'm actually am now writing, before I started writing, I wanted to get into, okay, let me research, is it best to type or handwrite it? Girl, just start writing, it doesn't even matter. So, starting now. Um, what else, girl? So, that's what's going on, and yeah, the housing market is crazy, so but I've been praying over this situation, you guys, and just praying to God that uh, we will be blessed with something, definitely for sure. Um, what else you guys heard me mention in my last video where I talked about my new products that Christia, the owner and CEO of TGIN passed away. And you know what? I was really shook up, you guys, for a good two days over her death. And it's not to say I'm going to sit up, I'm not going to sit up here and say that you know we were friends or anything like that but we were associates you know as i mentioned in that previous video they were the first company that i had a working relationship with as far as reviews go and it had literally been right on my heart to contact her it it, it was like literally the week before she passed away i was like i need to contact christina to see how she's doing because last year she was here in scottsdale she was here in Scottsdale, Arizona. She was complaining about the heat. And um, and I, I responded to her. I said, girl, uh, we don't go out past 9 o'clock. Because she said, it's, it's already 100 degrees. I said, yeah, we don't go past out. I was just kidding with her. Basically saying, we don't go outside past 9 o'clock in the morning. And she, you know, she wrote me another message. She was like, well, what do y'all do? And I, I didn't respond because I just got busy. So... And I, I guess a part of me was like, I mean, I get it. Not everyone shares everything on social media, which is good. They don't overshare. But I had no idea that, I knew it came back, her cancer came back in 2018. But then I went back and started reading some of her, because we were Facebook friends, like I said. I went back and started reading some of her messages, because I knew every now and then, Christy would, on Facebook, she would ask, or does anyone have a recommendation on this? Does anyone have a recommendation for this? Uh, you know, we're hiring, well, yada, yada, yada. And so she had posted, <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting upset because I hate to see when, when sweet people like this, when they try so hard and it still doesn't end well. Um, she had posted, I think in September, looking for a um, caregiver, uh, for an adult or um, elderly and I didn't know if maybe she's looking for a caregiver for you know um, her parents or someone she knows but you know I, I have a feeling this is just speculation this is not factual okay and let me just say this I have a feeling that this person that this additional help was for herself um, and all that and so what I'm watching on YouTube Child, first of all, I'm not even using um, any oil. All right. Y'all, when I tell you I have been obsessed with true crime, 
and it doesn't it doesn't help that crime of course is escalating I, you know of course because of what i just mentioned but i am absolutely obsessed with true crime videos and just and i go down a rabbit hole like not only do i watch the video if i hear something that just sticks out i'll pause that video and then go back and research and look as up as much information on another video so i've been watching true crime videos and it's not to make light of the situation i've been watching true crime like heavily watching it for the past two weeks now not that long a week and a half so i recently started watching um a young woman named she's not even young she's almost 40 christina randall she lives out in florida honey when i tell you she is country as hell and i love her for it and christina is interested in that she has a couple of story time videos she's been to prison she went on to mention how she had a you know she was just a tore up teenager just was rebellious and not listening and then she while she was in prison she had a supernatural experience in prison at the prison church and i know exactly what it what it was i know i mean if, if you watch the story time you can even feel it and um bless her heart but that changed her from then from there in but anyway her name is christina randall and i love the way she does the video another young woman is leah or leah nicole l-e-y-a um she does story time not story time excuse me she does true crime videos specifically on brown and black cases um and so yeah i try not to watch a lot of it all day i try to break it up but that's what i've been watching on youtube mostly and i don't know if i mentioned this yet but i subscribe to a brother who's a reaction and i don't watch a lot of reaction but i like him because he's to the point i think he's from dallas actually carlos kings when i tell you y'all he has the most beautiful locks his locks have to be waist length long why is that that is not fair why do men when they when they have their hair in a natural state it's just absolutely i mean his hair is shiny it's healthy anyway his name is carlos king and he does reactionary videos he makes me laugh child look i was looking at that one child, a couple of weeks ago, ago he did a reactionary video to a popeyes that had rats like big rats in the Popeyes and then going up the wall when I saw that that is disgusting that is absolutely big rats big sewage like rats big like I want to be your neighbor rats like out of control so he was reacting to that I cannot stop laughing he makes me laugh um and he's also very respectful so yeah Carlos King is his name. That's all I've been watching, y'all. Between all this true crime stuff, and I am so sick. Speaking of true crime, I know y'all just as sick of it as I am. If I see another story of a family whose kid is missing, and all of a sudden the baby is found dead, and nine times out of the, nine times out of ten it's the parents' fault. I am so over it so over it like if you can't take care of your baby you have a problem with your child you could drop them off the fire station you could drop them off with a family member you could drop them off at a hospital at a church you don't have to kill your babies i guess another five-year-old little boy was found his body was found he was declared missing and now the body was found i'm done just done and there's so many people out there who are you know are childless and wish they could have children you go and kill your babies like that I get so upset when I don't even like to read those messages or stories anymore. When I see it on my timeline, I just scroll on by because I know what's going to be. I know what the outcome is going to be. I just know it's not going to be good. Oh, God. It's so horrible. So, moving on, what I'm watching on TV. So, girl, T net. When I tell you, ooh, Paulette. You and Denzel made a fine specimen. You know, God came up and showed out Denzel. And y'all made a fine, fine boy. Made a fine. <laughs> so, T-Net stars John David Washington and that vampire uh, Robert, <laughs> Robert Patterson. Y'all, how old is he? Because I keep looking at him and I keep expecting to see Bella 
uh, goofy ass coming around the corner. Oh, he's he's grown. He's 35. Okay, then. Okay, Edward. Uh, Robert Thomas Patterson, you know, the UK actor that played in the Twilight movies. He's also in the movie. And the antagonist, and he's actually called the antagonist in the movie, is um, John David Washington. He is a great actor, by the way. And it's so funny. He's, he sounds just like his father. Not just like him. He... he you could tell that he's his father's son, but child, if he don't look like Paulette, <laughs> I'm so country. He looks just like his mother. He favors more his mother than his father. But I was looking, look, I had to watch the movie about two or three times. I want to get into what the movie is kind of about, but I'm not going to give all the spoilers. He kind of has his father walk too, but not the complete swag. Maybe when he turns about 50, he'll get it. Y'all know, y'all know me and older men. You know, when you get about 50, John David, I'm, I'm gonna look you back up and see how's how's it going. So yeah, right now he's yeah. How old is he? We don't know, girl. So the movie is like intercellular with um, what is that movie with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio? Inception. Um, and actually, I think the guy who did Inception did. T-Net. So it has to do with time travel. It's a sci-fi like movie. But when I tell you there are loops, there are loops and loops and loops and loops. The ending in one of my, in my opinion, is one of the best plot twists to a movie. I had to watch this movie and I'm a smart girl. I'm a smart cookie. I had to watch this movie three times. And the third time I finally turned on the damn, um, what do you call it? The subtitle. Cause I didn't want to miss anything. Yeah. Cause I was like, I actually bought it on um, YouTube. So I actually purchased the movie on YouTube. So you can watch the movie if you have HBO. But girl, I just spent $14 to just purchase it because I had to watch it over a couple of times. So yeah, John David is cute with his short self. I shouldn't say that. Y'all, I don't know. I He's good looking. I just like tall men. I mean, my husband's 6'3". So everybody's taller than me though. But I was... I was surprised to see that he was only 5'9", but that's okay. He makes up for it. He's handsome. You know what? He should be cast as the next Black Panther. You know what I mean? I know that they had delayed production of that movie because the sister, um, she has, she got a concussion or something. Y'all know I can't speak, pronounce nothing. And she got injured on set, so they had to pause production for a while. All right, so what else am I watching? Child on... <laughs> I'm silly. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why I watch A Fall From Grace again. Child, I just... <laughs> First of all, Cicely Tyson, bless her heart, rest in peace, running around there looking like a 101-year-old. I could not stop laughing when they did a close-up of that man's wig. Tyler Perry, you could have taken the Medea's wig and put it on his ass and it would look better than that. All those hairstylists in Atlanta, you can't get no better. All of those hairstylists in Atlanta, and that's the best y'all could do. Girl, we y'all have already seen it. You, you might, does Tyler Perry not like good hair? He was even wearing a really bad wig in one of his movies. I'm like, I can't deal with it. Why don't y'all, y'all should ask John Travolta who makes his lace fronts. Because John Travolta got a banging ass lace front. I didn't even know that was a lace front for the longest. So what do we y'all? Watched again a fall from grace. I don't know why I did that, but I did. I'm also watching this Danish um, series called The Chestnut Man started off banging, love it. Um, crime, criminal, like about two detectives trying to solve this murder. Um, girl, <laughs> Tiger King. I can't, I don't know if I can do season two, y'all. I started to watch it, and when I tell you, when Carol, Carol Baskin came on. I can't stop laughing. Every the whole thing just makes me laugh. I laugh at everything, you know. Um, and it looks like I thought that they had got him on the plot to uh, hire a plot to murder charges, but they couldn't make those charges stick. So instead, they got him on um, animal neglect. That's what he's doing all that time for. I finally finished. I went back and completed the center season three. Let me tell you something. The center is actually a pretty good, a pretty good show with Bill Palman and um, what is her name? Jessica Biel. 
Now, season one was pretty darn good. A little dark but good. Season two was okay. Season three, I started to watch because I like that fine ass. What's his name, y'all? I knew he. I know he doesn't play for our team. You could just tell sometimes just by the, the way my Gator is up there. So what is his name? He is fine as hell too. Matt. Matt Boomer. Very good looking. He, good looking. He plays the character Jamie. When I tell you, I had. This is why I stopped watching season three. I was getting anxiety. I'm not gonna give any spoilers away, but I was getting, it was causing me anxiety because I didn't know what was gonna happen because he was just all over the place. And I'm like, if you're gonna kill someone, just do it. Don't go four or five episodes in and, and just, oh Lord, I can't do it. So it was good. I finished it last night, actually. Um, this is in there. I have some stuff in my list on Netflix. Lock and Key season two. I need to go back and try to pay attention to it because I'm like, girl, it's very slow. Now, there's another one that people were uh, suggesting. Hellbound. Hellbound. Y'all know I'm country. Hellbound. I don't want to watch that. And I'm not going to watch that. Watch wow. Y'all, I can't believe I moisturized my entire hair while I was on the line with y'all. A hot ass mess too, girl. Let me go ahead. I'm going to pour some oil in my hands. And then apply it to me. Hell. Now look, y'all. Miss Arlette is not playing, which I don't blame her. She requires a negative COVID test before coming in. And I was the type of person I would just pop up. I just do that when I was when I was just before COVID. I would just pop up in her shop like, "Hey, Miss Arlette," and she's like, "Hey, baby." But I'm not going to do that because clearly I'm going to respect and I don't blame her. So I am. I think I'm going to go ahead and I know where I could get a rapid COVID test. And I think I'm going to have her too. She said she would straighten my hair for me. Miss Omet, I don't need no, no trim. You just, I just need for you to blow up my hair, detangle y'all. Her detangling process, baby. She would take about three hours on my hair. Like really going in and detang detangling. I just want my hair detangled, Miss Arlette. I need a really good conditioner, deep conditioner, and to blow out my hair. And can you flat on it? And flat on my hair. Y'all must send her this video. But I need for you to put those scissors down. Shoot. <laughs> so that is it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.